Welcome back everyone, it's Christy, and in today's video, I'm going to be tackling the boys' room. I'm going to deep clean it, as well as move around some furniture. So let's get started. Since the room is so small, it kind of gets really cluttered easily, and it seems really dirty fast, so I'm going to try to eliminate that by getting rid of some stuff and I'm going to rearrange the furniture. Maybe that'll help it look a little bit more roomy so everything's not so cluttered. Okay, so am I the only one who finds food wrappers and trash hidden behind their kids' beds when I clean? And leave it to my boys to break everything and anything. Look what they did to the bed. The bunk bed. They broke a piece off of it. I don't even know if this is recent or how long it's been this way. Oh. Well, here's the beds made. I moved them to the other side. Now I have to start tackling all of this stuff. Before I do that, I am going to spray down and wipe the bed because it is pretty dirty. I am also going to be wiping down all of the baseboards. So here's the beds made with the kids little stuffed animals and stuff they sleep with back on it. I organized the bins, put those back under the bed after I vacuumed, of course. Now I have this stuff to do. I'm going to move this dresser over quite a bit so it'll give more room so I could move the couch over. So I'm gonna empty all the, take all the drawers out of the dresser so it's not as heavy for me to push over. And now that I've moved it, I'm putting it, putting back all of the drawers. I'm going to do the same thing and try to spray it down and wipe it because it's dirty as well. And as you can see, the second to the last drawer in the dresser, apparently the boys have broken it because it doesn't push all the way in. I can't get it to close. The frame is bent inside of there, so we're just going to have to leave it like this. Now I'm going to take everything off of this shelf and wipe it down and I'm going to move it to the other side of the room and then start putting everything back on it. And this is where I'm starting with. Now I have to start putting all of these things back on the shelves. And here we go. Everything's back on the shelf. Looks nice and neat. Let's see how long it stays this way. Probably till this afternoon when the boys get home. <laughs> and here's the rest of the room. All I have left to do is um, put a couple of stuffed animals there on the bed that I have in the washer and then I need to reorganize their um, jackets they have there and I'm going to put all of their soccer stuff in the closet. I moved the table into the closet to give a little bit more room outside and then I am going to use this hanging rack to put all of their soccer stuff because I think it's easier for them to reach because they use it quite often. So I'll put some stuff on the little side pockets and then I'll put some of their uniforms, their shorts, socks, stuff like that in the little slits. And I had to find a good place for these little bins. My sister made them for the boys for Christmas and they literally play with them every day. Thank you. 
So this is the end result. I think it looks pretty good. I think having the bed on this wall, when you come into the room, it gives it a lot more space than having it on the other side. But thanks for watching, everyone. Please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. See you next time.